We here for the first time in NLSAR history. Phoenix banked. Yup. For the very first time in history, the nationwide series are gonna kick off the first ever race. Gentlemen, start your engine. We have one driver replacing. I mean, no, we've got a driver replaced. That's in the five, being. Driven by Hayden Chung now. He used to be driven by Ian Dutta until I found out he wasn't commenting. And he stole my time there, I and I. No, I gave it to him. Why I give it to him? <laughs> no, that was my personal I and I file. Now it's out there somewhere. Uh, there goes the pace car. Why did I give it to him? Whatever. Let's just get this race started. And there it is, green flag. We're gonna go a lot faster here, of course. Don't even just slow down in the turn. And look at that five, already making a move. Looking to take the lead already, or... Yeah, those damn camera angles tricking me. But he's gonna try to take the lead at this corner. And the 33, Ash Curtis is doing the same thing. He's trying to get, get the lead as well. Hayden got the lead, he's going up high. And... Nope, and all the caution's already out. Well, only have the one is around. Wrecked. Ash Curtis is the leader. He won here, but playing old Phoenix. But now, let's take a look. Alright, it's only Daniel Royals who uh, has wrecked. Let's see what happened. Uh, oh, the 88 got into the 48 and... Ah, oh, hard crack. That's not the way you want to start out on a new track. If this was original Phoenix, we were, we were to have half the field already wrecked. Only this time, it's only one car wrecked. Let's take you back to the restart. Alright, here we go. The 1 is the only driver out. And the 20 is going to follow the pace car. Who cares? There ain't no real driver in this league. But, of course, in real life. So, it doesn't really matter. There goes the pace car. and Getting ready for the green flag. Here it is. Here comes the 62 of Anna Thomas and oh Hayden and then the plant goes around and right in front of traffic the double zero gets gets involved and the plant saves it but everyone's going all over the place and nope we got another wreck. Four is going around, four is going around. Got a few more involved in this one. Anna Thomas, the leader. Surprised that was smaller than. And I. That actually. Never mind. Got turned by Kensinth. And that just got into LaPlante as well. She goes around. Able to do a 360 right in front of Riley Houston Jr. He going around again. It was looked like he was about to save it, but okay. But he doesn't. Then the four gets turned by Henry Nova. Yeah, it looks like Joe Gibbs is causing everything in this race. Except for the first wreck. Whoa, right in front of the 52 got a little bit of damage. And so did the 40 of Fisher. Noodles got a little piece of it as well. And now we'll take you back. Alright, so that's another three drivers behind the wall. 38 are left. I don't know why the 5, 4, and 40 are out of the race. It didn't look like they have an, a lot of damage on those cars. But uh, we'll have to see soon. There it is. Green flag. We're back underway and we still haven't completed it, completed one green flag lap. Just like the Phoenix we used to use. It's probably going to replace the other Phoenix we have. Whoa. Now it's getting a little bit aggressive already. Nearly turns Ash Curtis around. Here comes the 43 T. Anderson. Looking to take that lead. Two rookies battle it out. Chris Kyle's in the mix as well. Ed Kell is in it and so is DJ Curtis. Here comes Chris Kyle in the bottom. The 43 in the middle. And Thomas up top. Kyle's taking the lead. Here comes Curtis against Ed Kell. Three wide for I don't know what spot. Six? Yeah, six. And yeah. 
DJ Curtis now trying to take the lead with the 48. Fires through the middle lane. Just notice that light is glitching through the track. Weird. Now Curtis has taken the lead. Got the 16 and Nick Barney charging the second looking for the lead. Here comes Barney on the bottom. Side by side for the lead. Coming off for four. And he, will, he will take it and lead it as well. Nevins in the 70 on the bottom. Even though this is a bank track, you're allowed to go past the yellow line. This is pretty much considered a super speedway. You know, I might just get rid of the yellow line rule. It's just not how NASCAR was back like in the back in the old days. Anna Thomas looking to get the lead back. Got Patrick Mews coming as well. There, uh, we got a few more drivers trying to join this pack as well. Some of them are separate from it. Like Ash Curtis who was right there. He was in second. And he's fall falling back to uh, ninth. Maybe even further and whoa Nevins! Oh in the wall! Barney's in the wall! Curtis! Oh, we got the big one. It's the big one. Two cars. Oh, three cars. Maybe just two. Upside down. Big one. It's the big one. The uh, Anna Thomas is the leader. Caution is out. Everyone back it down. Let's take a look. Take a look right here. Nick Barney gets into Michael Nevins. Forces him into Chris Kyle. And Kyle and Nevins shoot up the hill. But then the 70... Goes hard into the wall, but then Nick Barney, who just got turned. Take a look here. Yeah, gone to DJ Curtis and then flies right in front of Ash Curtis. That's what caused a big wreck. Sam Curtis got a piece right in front of the 12, the 18, and all havoc just broke loose. Then the, oh, the 33, then the 10, then the 87 going on its side. The 10 with the violent, violent wreck. What? Man, he just went flipping like crazy. Gets into Ash Curtis, then the 21 gets into the 10, bounces around a few times, then flips over, and then Mike Malik Nevins runs right into the 33. Thing goes up just a bit, then back on its wheels, but that 10 took a few rows, I mean, rolls before resting on all four wheels. It's the big one at Phoenix. Surprised that it didn't happen earlier, but... It already happened. Let's take you back. Getting ready for the green once again. We only have 23 drivers left on the track and there it is. Green flag. We're back underway. Anna Thomas looking for his first, her first career win. Kel and Curtis instantly moved to the bottom lane. One and once entering the corner but here comes Ed Kel and DJ Curtis and we got a teammate Nick Purcells. Looks, looks, looks like they're gonna help each other out maybe. Maybe make it four wide. Could be four wide for the lead. All Chevys. We got three RCRs and whoa contact. DJ Curtis just led that one. Then one. Oh whoa, that Kel nearly gets wrecked. That was close right there. Chris Kyle trying to move his way back up. He has Patrick Mule right behind him. Coming to the lead pack is Brenda Purcell's Colin Bertel. And oh, Mew and no, oh, this is gonna be big. Oh, and Kyle upside down. M no, on its side. Oh, now Bartel's upside down. The plants involved. Patrick's in what the shit? And that's the second big one. And Ed Kell's involved in another Rex as well as Colin Bartel. The 48, the 60, the 44. Who is the leader? That's the three. Let's take a look. It's getting a bit dangerous here. You see Patrick Mew right behind the seven, right on his left side. That's not good. Wait, the caution came out before that though. The 22 gets up some air. 43 gets in clipped as well. The 60 runs right into the side. That's what caused him to f fly into the fence. And oh, it did go upside down. I thought it went on its side. Some parts of the roof. I mean, the roof just completely went on top of the wall. Then Bar Colin Martell flips over by because of Danica Patrick. That thing nearly goes over a pit road wall. Hope no one to hopefully no in no debris flies into the uh pit stalls. 
That lands on Danica Patrick, 32, LaPlante, Le the pole sitters involved as well. Nova, K.O., Houston Jr., Curtis, Guerra, Anderson, Needham, Kell. K what, that, sh that thing's still moving? Uh, Purcells, so wait, what happened? The, if the caution... Okay. So here's the real reason why the caution came out. Just from the... So, the 39... Nicholas Guerra gets turned by Riley Houston down to the apron and then Houston was actually the one who got turned around right in front of Chris Washer and that just just a basic two car spin with a few scuffs and all that stuff let's take you back to the restart here we go green flag so now we only have nine drivers left because of that big wreck I don't know who's still contending for the win but here comes the 31, Austin LaPlante, full head of steam, does not have a win this season. Does he? I don't think so. I forgot. Side by side for the lead. Mew is dropping back because of that damage. Let's see if Ashley LaPlante can uh, able to stay with the leaders and try to contend for the win while Austin LaPlante has taken the lead. With only nine drivers left, I still don't know who is contending for the win. I see three, maybe four, could be five, and that's about it. Junior might get into this mix. These two drivers drag racing, this allows LaPlante to pull away. But Junior's coming. If only can do that in real life. He would have won at least a million races by now. Why doesn't he win anymore? Whatever. So Junior's finally cleared the three. The three will just tuck right in. And looking to slingshot right away. Try to get second back. The plant continues to lead. Just a few laps left. But here comes the three on the bottom. Nick Purcells. A power move. And takes the lead back in the dogleg area. I guess. But here comes Junior on the bottom. Two laps to go. Who's it gonna be? Three drivers contending for the win. Not five. Or four. Just three. 88. Junior gets the lead. LaPlante is right there. He makes the move and turns three and four. The white flag is in the air, and we're just about, the leader's about to take it. LaPlante has taken the lead, crossing the line. And here comes Nick Purcells on the bottom. Will LaPlante block? Can he hang on? Side by side for the lead. Here they come. Purcells taking over. LaPlante looking to tuck in if he can get there. No, he's on the high side. He stays on the high side. But looks like Nick Purcells is going to win. The first ever race at Phoenix Bank. Checkered flag in the air. Purcells wins this race. What a race. And this time, this race does not end under caution. And what a great way to start out the opening of this track. Let's take you to the race results. So, nine drivers finished. Had a less cautions than if we were to go to the regular Phoenix so here are the full race results for today's race and those wrecks were crazy here you could take it to victory lane whoops so LaPlante now takes the lead, I mean, yeah, the points lead, Amanda Purcells loses it, Noodles and Mew remain in their positions from the last race, Riley Houston goes up three, both Washer and Barney down one, Purcells up three with taking the first win of his season, Nova up one, Ryan A down three after that horrific wreck, I believe on the uh, second caution, and here is the rest of the point standings. The races are winding down. The next race, well, 
You'll see for yourself. <laughs>